I'm adding red because I don't want to have this get too green. Oh, I was wondering why you weren't adding more yellow. Yeah, see? I don't want to have this get too terribly because I'm working between orange uh -huh. and blue, right? And I don't want to have a green situation happening here. <coughs> At least not too green. That's because it is a little green there. Yeah. But then your orange is becoming more red. Hmm? Well, we don't know where things are going yet. Plus, it's not dry. Which one? The one I'm doing is the hardest one? No. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I'm from the orange, though. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. yeah, it's lots more blue than I would expect. Mm -hmm. Lots more blue than I would expect. Here? Yeah. But see, I gotta get. I Remember, yeah, I gotta yeah, yeah. get from orange to blue. Right, so right. that's the tricky True. situation. And remember also that in order to get a nice blue, yeah, we had to add a little bit of red, right? Mm -hmm. I personally really like the gray that you get with um, orange and blue. It's a nice gray. See that? Mm -hmm. Sort of a nice warmish, warmish kind of a gray. Simultaneous contrast. I'm getting more towards the, <laughs> the color change uh, and wash it out. Yeah. Once you get past the gray, you wash it out, right? Kind of, yeah. And would you just paint the gray that you think is in the middle? Or? Hmm? I can't see because of the color, but the gray. Well, the, the gray sort of appears miraculously. After you get past it. After you get past it. Exactly. But there's really um, very pretty colors that happen in this particular gradation. Sort of muted blue green kind of. It's just it's kind of blue green. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's, but it's a very muted blue green. There's no red, there's no temperature shift here at all, other than the shift towards blue, and that's going to be the tricky part, is that you don't go towards red. No, I mean, but you're adding mm -hmm. red, wow. or, but, uh, but no yellow. No yellow. That's what I mean. It's rational.
Yeah, yeah, because um, if you're if you consider that you're going in between blue and orange, you are adding a certain amount. Oh, this is so transparent, but I don't care. I want to start more paint. Um, you have to expect that there's going to be some sort of a green situation in between because you're going from something that's pretty close to yellow to something that's blue, right? So, so orange and blue are not as complementary as uh, red and green in a strange way. The most complementary colors, like the energetically complementary colors, are red and green because there's such a um, value difference between yellow and violet to where the contrast and value takes over the complementary effect. Mm. But green and red are fairly similar in yeah. value. Yeah. So there you really get the effect of complementary contrast there. Mm. Okay. So this is the gray right there. And you can see how that's kind of a, if we lay them all next to each other, how different those grays are. Okay. Oh, yeah, exactly. Hey, you back to school? So the way that I'm... The way that I'm laying them out is <coughs> obvious, isn't it? Primaries, primaries, secondaries. 